Okay, so the problem is, is that ATP is being created in the mitochondrial matrix, but it's being hydrolyzed um, at the contractile apparatus all the way out in the cytosol. And ADP and ATP are really large molecules with low concentration gradients to move across, so they move very slowly. And while they still move, so this is the yellow pathway here is the slow pathway, and it happens at the same time as this blue pathway. So the yellow pathway, you start with the ATP, and it gets hydrolyzed into ADP, giving energy to contract. And then the ADP diffuses all the way down across the outer membrane into the intermembrane space, across the inner membrane, and then down to ATP synthase. And then ATP is made, diffuses through the inner membrane, through the outer membrane, and all the way back to the actin myosin site. Uh, so that's really slow because of they are huge molecules uh, with low concentration gradients. However, there is a second pathway that happens at the same time, uh, and it's much quicker, and it uses uh, phosphocreatine. So you start in the same position, you start at ATP uh, next to contractile apparatus, it gets hydrolyzed to ADP, and then rather than diffusing all the way into the mitochondria, it just interacts with phosphocreatine that's hanging out near it in the cytosol. Um, so it picks up a phosphate from the phosphocreatine in the cytosol, and then it gets returned into ATP, so it can uh, then produce contraction again. Uh, what happens is the naked creatine now, without its phosphate, this will diffuse just through the outer membrane rather than ADP diffusing through both membranes. Uh, creatine is much smaller than ATP and ADP and it's going to diffuse uh, across a higher gradient, so both of those are why it'll move quicker. Um, it also only needs to move, move through the one outer membrane because mitochondrial creatine kinase is within the intermembrane space. So creatine is going to diffuse after giving its phosphate to ADP. It's now in the mitochondrial membrane space, and it's going to interact with an ATP that was created in the matrix, but diffused up one membrane, the uh, intermitochondrial membrane, rather than both. So that's going to speed up ATP because it's only going through one. And then it's going to interact and pick up its phosphate, and then it's going to make an ADP, and that's going to diffuse through just the one membrane, again, rather than both. And then uh, creatine is going to be phosphocreatine now, it's going to diffuse through the outer membrane and back up to the cytoplasm. So rather than having ADP and ATP moving through both, the blue pathway has ATP moving through one membrane, ADP moving through one membrane, and then creatine and phosphocreatine picking up the slack and moving through the second membrane. So not only is it just faster to diffuse, but it's also limiting the amount of diffusion, diffusion that ATP and ADP have to do. Uh, yeah, that's it.